To download and install shaders for Minecraft 1.20 or later is actually very simple. Before we get started, I just want to mention there are two main methods of installing shaders. The first method which we are using today is going to be the fabric method. The fabric method is a bit more complicated to install, however it offers significantly better shader performance than its counterpart. It also means you can run mods alongside the shaders for a better Minecraft experience. The second method is the Optify method. While it is a lot more straightforward to install and comes with a bunch of nice features, you are giving up a significant amount of shader performance. However, if you'd like to know how to install Optifine, I will leave a tutorial linked in the description below. So the first thing we need to do is to open our Minecraft launcher and you want to open an instance of Minecraft 1.20. This is because it's going to download the 1.20 files that our mods can download and install onto. So once Minecraft 1.20 loads up, you can go ahead and quit the game because the files have now been installed. The next step is to download Fabric so we can install our mods. And to do this you need to go to your web browser and you want to go to the fabricmc.net website and I'll leave a link in the description. From here you want to click on the download here button and then you want to click on download for Windows. However if you're on Mac or any other platform you want to use the universal installer. So we're going to click on download for Windows and we're going to save the Fabric installer to our desktop. You'll also need to install the Fabric API as many mods require this. So you want to click on the Fabric API link and this will take you to the CurseForge website. From here we just need to click on the download button and then after 5 seconds the download should automatically start. So again we're going to go ahead and download the Fabric API to our desktop. So now we've got our Fabric and Fabric API downloaded which is going to allow us to run our mods and shaders. We just need to download the mods and shaders themselves. So the first mod we need to download is the Sodium mod. I can get it with the link in description. Sodium is basically a performance mod which is going to offer significantly more performance while running Minecraft with shaders and without shaders. So to download it we just need to click on the versions tab just at the very top. We want to select your Minecraft version, in this case we're using 1.20. You then want to select the download button and then we're going to download the installer to our desktop. The second mod we need to download is the Iris Shaders mod. And the Iris Shaders mod is basically going to give Minecraft the ability to run shaders. And again it's going to offer us more performance than the Optifine counterpart. So to download it we need to click on the versions tab yet again, select our Minecraft version which is 1.20 and then click on the download button and again we're going to download this to our desktop. So now we've got our mods downloaded we just need to download the shader pack itself. Now the shader pack I always go for is Complementary Reimagined and it's a very popular shader pack for a good reason. Complementary Reimagined is probably one of the easiest shaders to run and it gives a nice balanced look to Minecraft while making it still customizable. So to install Complementary Reimagined, all we need to do is click on the Versions tab yet again, select our Minecraft version, and in this case it only goes up to 1.19.4, however it still might work. So we're going to download the latest release anyway, and then click on the download button, and again we're going to save it to our desktop as usual. So now we've got Fabric, our mods and the shader pack downloaded, we just need to go ahead and install them. So to do this you want to right click on the Fabric installer and you want to open it up, and when it opens it will look like this. So to install Fabric you just want to click on the Minecraft versions drop down menu and select the version you want and in this case we want 1.20. For the loader version you just want to be using the latest version and you want to make sure your Minecraft install location is correct. Once you're ready you want to make sure the create profile is ticked and you want to click on install. After a few seconds the Fabric installer will be completed so you want to click on OK and X out of the Fabric installer. So now Fabric is installed we just need to install the Fabric API and the mods alongside it. So to do this you want to right click on your windows icon and you want to select the run command and then you want to type in percent update percent just like this and you want to click on ok. From here you want to go into your .minecraft folder at the very top and then you are in your minecraft installation folder. From here we just need to create a new folder and you want to call it mods just like this and then you want to go into the mods folder and it should be empty. From here all you need to do is drag and drop the fabric API and the two mods we downloaded into the mods folder. Now this mods folder is literally what it says on the tin, so when you download mods in the future, all you need to do is to drag and drop them into this mods folder just as we've done here. So the last thing you need to do now is to install our Minecraft shaders. So to do this you want to go back to your .minecraft installation folder that we was in earlier, and from here we just need to create a new folder yet again. Now this new folder needs to be called shader packs and it needs to look like this all one word. You then want to go into the shader packs folder. And again you just want to drag and drop your shaders into the shader packs folder. And again this is what you're going to do with every single shader pack you download in the future. Once you've done this you can exit out of your file explorer and we can continue on to the next step. So now we've got everything installed I'm going to show you how you can run Minecraft with your shaders and mods. 
So to do this, you want to open your Minecraft launcher and then you want to click on the release drop down menu and click on the fabric loader version. You then want to go ahead and click on play. You may get a warning, so you want to click on I agree to the risks and then click on play again. So when Minecraft opens, you know it's working because it will say your Minecraft version number and it will say slash fabric and modded in brackets. So to use our shaders, we just want to open up a Minecraft world and in this case I'm going to use my shader example world. And as you can see, I'm currently in my world and I don't have any shaders on. So to enable them, all we need to do is go to our options menu, then you want to click on video settings and you may notice it's changed. That's because we're using the performance mod called Sodium, which is going to offer us significantly more performance. So to enable our shaders, we need to click on the shader packs just at the very top. Then you want to select the shader pack you've just installed. Once you're ready, you want to click on apply. And after a few seconds, your shader pack will open up. And as you can see, the world has completely changed. If you want to configure the shader pack, all you need to do is go back to the options menu, click on video settings, and then click on the shader packs at the top. You want to make sure your shader pack is currently selected, then you want to click on shader pack settings. From here, you can go through all of your shader settings. However, I recommend just changing the default profile just to make it simple. Once you're ready, you want to click on apply. And after a few seconds, your shader pack will refresh with your new settings. You then want to click on done. And you can go ahead and start playing Minecraft just as you normally would. And that is all you need to do to install shaders to Minecraft 1.20 or later. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.